This is part three in my weaning and extubating patient series, and I'm gonna be talking about the spontaneous breathing trial safety screen in this video. At this point, we have screened our patient to see if we can wake them up. We have woken our patients up and they have been able to safely be awake. And now we are going to screen them to see if we can safely put them on a spontaneous breathing trial. Ideally, at this point, your patient is awake enough to follow some simple commands like squeeze my hands, let go, you know, stick out your tongue, nodding head yes or no appropriately. Um, not to say that they're always in this position, but perfect case scenario, they're following commands. And then we're gonna see if our patient meets any of the following criteria. For this portion, we're actually gonna to want to check yes in these boxes. So does your patient have adequate oxygenation, meaning their stats are greater than or equal to 88%. They are on an FiO2 of 50% or less. I think they have a typo here. Um, and a PEEP of eight or less. Are they showing that they have spontaneous inspiratory effort in a five minute period, meaning they are initiating some of their own breaths? Now, if you have your respiratory rate set too high, let's say the rate set at like 30, your patient may not show this. So you may have to talk to the provider about dro dropping that rate down to actually see some spontaneous effort. Um, but we'll see if they have any spontaneous effort and then we'll see if they're having no agitation, no MI, no vasopressor or inotropes. However, this isn't necessarily an exclusion criteria. Some patients are just on a small dose, but obviously if you're like, going way up on your pressors or on a high dose may not be appropriate to extubate. And we don't want any increased ICPs. If you check yes to all of these boxes, uh, then we're gonna move to a spontaneous breathing trial, which I'll cover in the next part. If the answer to some of these are no, then we will start the whole process over again and rescreen tomorrow.